Bonjour tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez tout le monde très très bien et je vous accueille sur ma chaîne YouTube Apprenez les langues françaises avec moi Achiche. Je m'appelle Achiche et je parle beaucoup de langues étrangères, par exemple le français, anglais, espagnol et allemand. Et je vais suivre dans tant de pays francophones, par exemple France, Belgique, Suisse et Luxembourg. Donc je connais très très bien comment les citoyens de francophones, comment les gens ils parlent les langues françaises. Quel quel mot ils utilisent pendant leur conversation tous les jours et quelle quelle chose vous devez concentrer pour assurer que voilà vous allez vraiment apprendre le langue française comme on parle en France. Donc aujourd'hui j'ai décidé je dois enrichir votre connaissance et vocabulaire à propos des choses que on trouve de notre salle de bain parce qu'il y a beaucoup de choses vous devez vraiment comprendre comment on dit ça, comment on va prononcer et quels sont les articles qui concernent toutes les choses que nous avons de notre salle de bain. Donc aujourd'hui, qu'est-ce que vous allez faire Vous allez vraiment écouter attentivement ce que je vais vous expliquer. Si vous comprenez très bien, donc ma mission sera accomplie. Voilà, sans gaspiller du temps, maintenant on doit commencer. Voilà, c'est parti Hi everyone and all the beautiful people all over the world. I hope that you all are fine and enjoying your life as well. And I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Ashish. So my name is Ashish and I speak different foreign languages, French, Spanish, German and English. And I've lived in so many French speaking countries as well, like France, Belgium, Switzerland and Luxembourg. So I know very well how French people speak French language, what words they use in their daily -day conversation and what you have to keep in mind to make sure that you can also learn French language the way we speak in France. So today I have decided that I should teach you something new. I should increase your vocabulary about so many things what we find in our bathroom. Yes, the topic is bathroom because there are so many things we use every day in our bathroom. So if we know the meaning of everything, we know how we pronounce how we write and what are the articles we use for all these things so that would be great for you you can use those things in your daily -day conversation with your friends with your family members and that's the best way to learn french language trust me and before i start to teach you french language i just want to make sure that i should tell you one thing which is very important for you because in french language we have two genders one is masculine and one is feminine so for masculine we use always article le L E and the way we pronounce is le le and for the gender feminine we have article la L A L A so you have to keep in mind if you learn a new noun you really make sure that you really learn the gender of that noun and you should know the article because if you know that then you can easily perfectly speak French language and you can easily and perfectly write French language that will be big advantage if you know the gender of the noun it's very very paramount please fix into your mind so now it's time to start and i will enhance your vocabulary just you have to pay attention so today's topic is bathroom so bathroom in french language we call it la salle de bain la salle de bain la salle de bain and now what you see in my hand you know very well we call it soap so in french language we call it savo savo s-a-v-o-n savo and it's masculine so i told you that for masculine we use le so we will pronounce it le savon le savon le savon so practice practice and practice because the more you practice the more it fixes into your mind and now what you see in my hand it's you know very well it's shower gel so in french language we call it gel douche gel douche it's masculine so i told you that for masculine we use le so here le gel douche le gel douche you know very well we comb our hair with this so it's comb and in french language we call it peigne 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 it's masculine so le peigne le peigne le peigne and now what you see in my hand it's toothpaste you know very well it's toothpaste so in french language we call it dentifrice dentifrice it's masculine so le dentifrice le dentifrice and this is in my hand you know it's toothbrush you know very well so in french language we call it brosse 
adon. Bros, adon. It's feminine, so I told you that for feminine we use la. L A, L A, la. So it's la, bros, adon. And this, you know very well, it's Caesars. So Caesars, we call in French language saison, saison. So it's masculine also, so we call it le saison, le saison. Now you see in my hand, you know very well, we call it nail clippers, nail clippers. So you know very well. So we call in French language coupe ongle, coupe ongle. Coupe ongle. So it's plural, so we call it les coupes ongles. Les coupes ongles. Les coupes ongles. And now you know very well it's shampoo. We use it to clean our hair, you know. So it's shampoo, so in French language we call it shampoo. 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 And the gender is masculine, so le shampoo. Le shampoo. Le shampoo. Just practice, practice, and practice. And now what you see in my hand, you know very well, it's hair dry and we use this to dry our hair. And in French language we call it sèche cheveux. Sèche cheveux. It's masculine, so le sèche cheveux. Le sèche cheveux. And now it's shaving cream. You can see here, it's shaving cream. So in French language we call it mousse à raser. Mousse à raser. Mousse à raser. It's feminine, so la mousse à raser, la mousse à raser, la mousse à raser. And now what you see in my hand, you know it's mirror, it's small or big, it doesn't matter. The mirror in French language, we call it miroir, miroir. And it's masculine, so le miroir, le miroir, le miroir, le miroir. Just practice, practice and practice. Practice makes a man perfect, practice. And now what you see in my hand, it's towel, you know, towel. So in French language, we call it serviette, serviette, serviette. It's feminine, so la serviette, la serviette, la serviette. So this is the salle de bain, salle de bain, bathroom. I mean, it's my bathroom, so I'm just showing you, you know. It's maybe dirty, but I have to show you to make sure that I can explain you all the things. So now what you see here, it's bathtub, you know very well. So in French language, we call it baignoire, baignoire. It's feminine, so la baignoire, la baignoire, la baignoire. And now what you see here, it's, you know very well, it's shower. So in French language, we call it douche, douche. So it's feminine, so la douche, la douche, la douche. Now what you see here, you know very well, it's wash basin wash basin and in French language we call it lavabo 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 and it's masculine so le lavabo le lavabo and finally after enhancing your vocabulary about so many things so if you find that this video is very helpful for you to really learn French language so I would request you please like share and subscribe to my channel learn French with Ashish and if you have any question, any doubt about French language or you want to speak to me in French language, so this is my number, you can always call me or message me or WhatsApp me and I'll be happy to help you at every step. And also I want to share with you that I have one more channel, Learn German with Ashish. So here I post new videos about German language, I teach German language the way I teach French language here, the same way I teach German language as well. So if you really want to make better your German language, you can always follow my this channel. And also, if you want to study abroad, I have one more channel, Fresh Geek Consultants and Education Services. Here I post different videos about scholarship and how you can get admission abroad, what are the deadlines, what are the universities, what, what is the criteria. So I think I cover all the questions and this will definitely help you to make sure that if you're really planning to study abroad. So I think my goal is very clear. I just want to reach out to so many people all over the world. I want to teach you French language, German language, and also I want to help you to study abroad. So this is my goal and I want to fulfill that with your help. So thank you so much for your time and patience. Best of luck, take care and keep learning German language. Keep learning French language and keep studying abroad.